Welcome to Homecoming Week. Hope you guys are having a good time. Signal Mountain. I'm back this week to talk about all things homecoming. We've got Powder Puff, all the dress-up days, and this year's homecoming court. But first, we got our high school girls volleyball team. They've had another successful year and they placed first in their district. Hey Signal, so the volleyball team's doing really well. Um, last week we won district against Notre Dame and we did the same with Regions this week. And we hope to continue and we're really proud of our team. The volleyball team defeated Central High School in last night's sub-state tournament. Central won the first set, but the Eagles rebounded quickly, winning the next three sets in a row, sending the Lady Pounders home. The state tournament will be held at ETSU in Johnson City over fall break. The team has played superbly the last four games in the tournament and has more than enough potential to win state tournament. One of the most exciting parts of homecoming week is the selection of the homecoming court. One freshman, one sophomore, one junior, and six seniors were chosen this year. One of these lovely young ladies will be crowned during halftime of tonight's game. Now, each one of these young ladies will introduce themselves to Sup Signal. Hi, I'm Julia Summer and I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Riley Ingalls and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Allison Felder and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Mary Taylor and I'm a senior. Hello, I'm Alex Marshall and I'm a senior. Okay, hey, I'm Kelly Matthews and I'm a senior. Hey, I'm Katherine McAllen and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Presley Nixon and I'm a senior. Hey, I'm Kimberly Youngblood and I'm a senior. Last week, each grade gave us a preview to their Powder Puff team. The gender reverse matchup was held this past Monday, followed by the annual bonfire. Here's a recap of all the action. This past Monday, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors all participated in the Powder Puff tournament. The first game saw the freshmen take on the seniors. The upperclassmen would win it 16 to nothing thanks to senior defensive coordinator Ryan Claxton's lockdown D. Later, the juniors would beat the sophomores. The underclassmen managed to take the juniors into overtime with a six-all tie, but cross-country star Mallory Young was able to carry her team to the finals in a hard-fought match. The junior girls started the final game against the seniors with possession, but failed to capitalize. Back and forth the two teams went, but neither was able to finish a drive. In the final quarter of the game, however, senior QB Anna Althaus found our very own Marie Whitmire for a 30-yard touchdown. The juniors started their ensuing possession deep in their own territory, and in the final moments of the game, a pass from junior quarterback Kelsey McGowan was picked off by Kalila Tucker to secure the victory. Your final score was seniors 6, juniors nothing. After the game, field reporter William Dowling spoke with some of the players. I'm here with the winning Powder Puff football team, the senior class. Represent, tell us guys what happened. We won. Yeah. I believe that we just won. I believe that we just won. I believe that we just won. If you're a student at Signal Mountain High School, you've probably been to the media center. But do you know about everything it has to offer? And it may only be October, but the yearbooks are already on sale for $60. So get yours before it's too late. Hi, I'm Kaden, the friendly library guy. I just want to talk to everybody about the book drive. Um, it is the week before and the week of Thanksgiving, and we don't want you to just bring books. We want you to bring vinyl records, VHS tapes, uh, MP3s, old phones, old tablets, pretty much anything. These signs are going to be all over the school, so look out for them. Um, Drop-off zones are obviously going to be here in the library, and most English teachers will have a basket for it as well. The library is having the first ever online book club. Wow, look at that! The first book is Wonder by R.J. Palaccio. Um, from what I've heard, it's a really, really good book, and it's all online. So if you don't have a computer at home, you can come and use one of our billions of computers, or ten or something. So, uh, and if you don't have a car, you don't have to worry about getting rides to and from the school, because it's all online, which the internet is everywhere, even inside of us. So yes, sign up for that here in the library. There's a sign-up sheet at the circulation desk, and thanks. 
Are you interested in film? Do you like clubs? If so, the Signal Mountain Film and Photography Club might be just what you're looking for. Hi, I'm Doug Rowan. I'm David Harrell. And pretty much what we've been doing at Film Club recently is teaching our new recruits how to use the school's equipment and cameras. Uh, yeah, and we're working on a movie right now. And if you're interested in joining, come by after school on Wednesdays. Everyone's favorite homecoming traditions are the annual dress-up days. This week, we've seen everything from zombies to superheroes. And today, our school is decked out in red, white, black, and gray. Monday was salad dressing day, where students spent more time defining what salad dressing meant than they did making costumes. Regardless, each grade looked great. Here are some of the costumes. Stop signal! Ahoy, stop signal! dressing was followed by Comic-Con Day, where students went all out impersonating their favorite movie, television, and comic book heroes. Autobots, roll out! Good morning, welcome to Comic-Con Day. Hope you all are having a good one. Yeah. Live long and prosper. Decade Day. We saw the usual afros and poodle skirts, as well as some new futuristic outfits from the seniors. I'm every decade. Okay? I'm a little bit of everything. Because I'm very old. Yesterday, liberal students struggled to stay afloat in a sea of camo and states' rights. Here are some of our favorite ensembles. By God. In order to get pumped up for tonight's game, senior football players shaved intricate designs into freshman players' heads. Here are some of the masterpieces. team will be facing CCS tonight at home to finish off the week's festivities. The homecoming queen will also be crowned, as well as a dance for high school students after the game. Fall break is also here, so that means no school till October 29th. We'll be back in two weeks with a special edition Halloween episode, but until then, go Eagles and sub signal.